Have you ever met someone who always seems to be the life of the party, but their need for attention feels excessive or their emotions seem overly dramatic? This might sound like a typical party-goer or an attention-seeker, but in the realm of psychology, it's much more than that. It's a condition known as histrionic personality disorder, or HPD for short. HPD is a mental health condition that's characterized by a pattern of excessive emotionality, attention-seeking behaviors, and an inclination for dramatization. It's a fascinating study of human behavior, as it paints a vivid picture of how our emotions and behaviors can intertwine in complex and sometimes challenging ways. Picture someone who always seems to be in the spotlight, who thrives on the attention of others. Their emotions are like a roller coaster ride, swinging dramatically from one extreme to another. Excitement, anger, despair. These emotions are expressed in a pronounced, often theatrical manner that can appear superficial or manipulative to others. And it's not just their emotions that are dramatic. Their language and communication are filled with colourful descriptions and vivid imagery. They express their feelings in a grandiose fashion, with frequent displays of crying, laughing and dramatic gestures that can sometimes seem exaggerated. At the heart of HPD is a constant need for attention and approval. People with this disorder have a strong desire to be the centre of attention and may feel uncomfortable or anxious if they are not. They may go to great lengths to attract attention, employing tactics that can sometimes push the boundaries of appropriateness. HPD also manifests in relationships, where the individuals may flirt excessively, dress in a seductive manner, or use their physical appearance to attract attention. This can lead to intense and quickly developing relationships, which are often fraught with conflict, jealousy, and possessiveness. Understanding HPD is like embarking on a psychological journey, exploring the intricate interplay of emotions, behaviours and relationships. In the following scenes, we'll delve deeper into the drama of emotions, the spotlight cravers, the seductive behaviour and relationship challenges, and the underlying factors and treatment of histrionic personality disorder. Sounds intriguing, right? Stay with us as we delve deeper into these characteristics. First off, let's talk about the emotional roller coaster that people with HPD often experience. Imagine a roller coaster, not of physical ups and downs, but of emotional highs and lows. This is the daily reality for someone with histrionic personality disorder, or HPD. Their emotional landscape is characterized by dramatic swings in mood, with emotions like excitement, anger, or despair expressed in a very pronounced way. It's like watching a play where the actors are on a constant emotional edge, their feelings magnified under the spotlight of their own perception. But it's not just about the intensity of these emotions. It's also about the way they are expressed. The language and communication of someone with HPD might feel like you're in a grand theatre, filled with colourful descriptions and vivid imagery. Every word they say, every story they tell, is like a dramatic monologue, a soliloquy filled with passion and theatrics. And the drama doesn't stop at their words. Their physical expressions of emotion are also exaggerated. Imagine frequent displays of crying, laughing or dramatic gestures. It's as if they are performing on a stage, their every move calculated for maximum emotional impact. However, this intensity of emotions and their dramatic expression can sometimes come across as superficial or manipulative to others. It's like the boy who cried wolf. When every emotion is amplified, it becomes challenging for others to discern genuine feelings from theatrical displays. But this is the world of someone with HPD, a world where emotions are not just felt but performed, where feelings are not just experienced but dramatized. It's a world that can be overwhelming, not just for the individual with HPD, but also for those around them. Now that we've explored the emotional drama, let's move on to their constant need for attention and approval. Imagine always needing to be the center of attention, even going to great lengths to ensure it. This is a reality for people with histrionic personality disorder, or HPD. A significant characteristic of HPD is a constant, almost insatiable need for attention and approval. This isn't simply a desire for occasional recognition or praise. No, this is a deep-seated need that can dictate their behaviours and interactions, pushing them to become the main focus in any setting, be it at a party, in the workplace or even in a quiet gathering with friends. This attention-seeking behaviour can take many forms. Some might dress provocatively, others may flirt excessively and some might even engage in dramatic or risky actions. The aim is always the same to attract attention and keep the spotlight firmly on themselves. 
But why such an intense need for attention? Well, it's intricately tied to their self-esteem. People with HPD often base their self-worth on the amount of positive feedback they receive from others. They crave validation and approval like a plant craves sunlight, depending heavily on it for their emotional well-being. This dependence makes them incredibly sensitive to any form of criticism or rejection. A seemingly innocent comment or a slight shift in tone can be perceived as a harsh critique, causing them to feel insecure or anxious. This sensitivity is not to be taken lightly. It can trigger intense emotional reactions, further intensifying their need for reassurance and approval. It's a cycle that can be hard to break, leaving them constantly seeking the next dose of attention to soothe their bruised self-esteem. But here's the thing. While their behaviour might be seen as dramatic or excessive, it's crucial to remember that it's not a choice they've made. It's a part of their disorder, a struggle they face daily, and one that can be incredibly challenging to navigate. As we've seen, the need for attention is a major characteristic. Now let's talk about their seductive behaviour. People with HPD often use seduction as a tool for attention. But how does this impact their relationships? Now let's delve deeper into the third characteristic of histrionic personality disorder, which is inappropriate seductive behaviour. People with HPD may exhibit seductive behaviour that seems out of place or excessive. They may dress provocatively, flirt excessively, or use their physical appearance to draw attention. This behaviour, while it might initially attract others, can become uncomfortable, especially in professional or social settings. It's like they're always on a stage performing a role designed to captivate their audience. Now, this leads us to the fourth characteristic of HPD, the difficulty in maintaining relationships. While their flamboyance may capture interest, the emotional intensity and constant need for attention associated with HPD can put a strain on relationships. It's not uncommon for people with HPD to form intense, quickly developing relationships. They often idealize their partners at the onset, painting them as perfect. But when the initial excitement fades and they realize their partners are in fact human with flaws, they become disillusioned. Conflict, jealousy and possessiveness are often present in their relationships. They may become overly dependent on their partners for validation and attention, which can be exhausting for the other person. It's like being in a relationship with a hurricane, exhilarating at first, but potentially destructive in the long run. The dramatic nature of HPD can make it difficult for individuals with a disorder to maintain healthy, long-term relationships. Their need for constant attention and validation can lead to strained relationships and, ultimately, loneliness. It's a cycle of attraction and repulsion, a roller coaster of emotions that can leave both parties feeling drained. Understanding these behaviours sheds light on the struggles of HPD. But what causes this disorder? Stay tuned as we delve into the underlying factors and potential treatments in our next segment. Remember, understanding is the first step to acceptance and only with acceptance can there be recovery. The causes of HPD aren't completely understood, but let's look at what we do know. It's widely believed that the development of histrionic personality disorder is influenced by a blend of genetic and environmental factors. Like many mental health conditions, HPD may run in families, suggesting a genetic predisposition. However, simply having a relative with HPD doesn't guarantee you'll develop the disorder. It's a bit like having a family history of high blood pressure. It raises your risk, but it doesn't seal your fate. Turning to environmental factors, early life experiences can play a significant role. Emotional neglect or abuse in childhood, for instance, might contribute to the development of HPD. We're talking about situations where a child's emotional needs are consistently ignored or where they're subject to volatile, unpredictable emotional environments. These experiences can shape how a person learns to relate to others and manage their own emotions, potentially setting the stage for patterns of attention-seeking and dramatic behaviour later in life. Now let's pivot to treatment. HPD is a treatable condition and psychotherapy is the cornerstone of management. Cognitive behavioural therapy, for example, can help individuals recognise unhealthy patterns of thought and behaviour, develop healthier coping mechanisms, and improve their interpersonal relationships. Through therapy, individuals with HPD can learn to express their emotions in a more balanced way and build more satisfying, stable relationships. In some cases, medication might be used to manage co-occurring conditions, like anxiety or depression. However, medication isn't typically the primary treatment for HPD. 
It's more like a supporting actor, helping manage symptoms that might interfere with therapy or daily life. While HPD is a complex disorder, understanding and treatment can make a significant difference. Remember, mental health matters. Subscribe for more content like this and comment on what topics you'd like us to cover next.